Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Ender Coaching video. Um, yeah, okay, so on this one, uh, I I don't remember. So you said you wanted to... This is another um, Trash Pandas pin game. Um, you said that you wanted me to take a look at the first game. The first game was the one that I covered in the last video, which uh, ended early because the game broke, because EA is competent. Um yeah. So so anyway, this is the first uh, full game, I guess, because it's the first one that actually concluded. <laughs> um, the last game was a great game, but th uh, this game, I mean, it was a fun game for us anyway, but it ended up being a bit of a low ad. I think we won by like five. Um, but I think there's going to be some good stuff here uh, anyway, even though we did end up winning big. But yeah, so uh, enough of that. Uh, I'm just going to get it, go ahead and get right into it. All right, so I'm going to use myself uh, as an example again here, a um, positive example this time. Uh, well, I guess, I don't know. I'm not really trying for it to be this way, but I guess I end up using myself as a positive example a lot, but <laughs> not really trying to do that, I promise. But I think it's uh, <laughs> I think it's relevant. Uh, but anyway, I kind of just, you know, I want to I want to replay that again a little bit just to kind of see but i skated in hang on to it hang on to it hang on to it look for something i don't force anything look i see you in the middle here but there's obviously a guy right on top of you so i'm not going to try and force that play um but it's kind of wait 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 and look at this this guy's kind of you know in this area blue is covered so i can't i can't skate it into the middle you're going behind the net, but this guy's here ready to cover that. What I've got here is a lane out to yellow. There's a 1T option right there, perfectly, you know. That's the thing, um, you know, I would pass to the point regardless of the handedness. Um, sometimes when you have like a right-handed, like I play right-handed right D, some people don't like to pass out to the right-handed right D. Um, but, you know, it's okay to do that. You just have to you know, wonder, you just have to always consider their handedness and think about how much time they need to collect the puck. But obviously he's left-handed here, so it's going to be an easy one-timer. Um, so when I let this play out, I'm going to see, get it over to him, bang, one-timer, it's in. So I just wanted to point, I just wanted to show that because it's, uh, you know, oh, ho, ho, hey, ha, ha, you know, I'm... I'm so incredible. Look at this great thing that I did. <laughs> um, no, but, um, you know, hang on to the puck. Don't don't look to... I think... Um, I think if you had been in, in the same position there, you probably would have been looking for that play, like, to the front to hit me in front of the net for a shot. Like, I saw you there, but I knew that guy was all over you, and I knew I couldn't get it to you there. So I just hung on, and that's what I want. You know, that's what I want to see you do more of is where, you know, the play that you want, you know the play that you want, but it isn't there. And so you have to find something else. You have to improvise, improvise you have to adapt. Um, and I, that's just what I want to see more of. All right, so here's another example of me kind of like not, not panicking, not panicking, not trying to force any passes that aren't there. Like, you know, here we go. Uh, you know, I look, trying to get into the zone. What I actually could have done is I probably could have shot the puck this direction and let it bank off the boards into this area so that he could skate into it. Um, but, you know, my initial thought is just like, okay, well, I'd like to get it to him because he has room to skate in here. But that lane's cut off. Like, this guy, he's going to pick that off if I try that pass. There's no way I'm going to get that pass through. What I could have done is I could have shot it, like I said, or I could have saucered it or whatever. Just throw it into this area. Um, I didn't do it. You know, wasn't a good decision, I guess. But, you know, just hang on to the puck. You know, be patient. But, you know, be careful, obviously, as I end up screwing up here and, and turning it over. I think I probably, at this point, maybe could have taken another step and then passed it over to you because it looked like you maybe had some room there. But, um, in any case, I end up hanging on to it too long and they knock it away. Um, I guess, you know, they saw me they saw me do that one too many times and now they know that I'm going to try that. But, um you know, but look, I mean, here's the thing. I try to get into the zone. I don't force a pass that I know isn't there. And what happens? He pokes it away from me, and now yellow has it. And he just dumps it into the zone, and that's fine. You know, they have the puck now, but it's it's fine, right? 
because that's the worst thing that happened, right? Is that for all that, you know, for, for all those times that I showed like in the last video where I hang onto the puck and we're able to get into the zone because of it, because I didn't, you know, force a play that, that was not there. We have this one time where I tried to hang on to it a little too long and just had it knocked away. Wasn't the end of the world. Sometimes it's a really bad turnover. They get like a breakaway off it or whatever. But, you know, fortunately, Yellow was in good position to help me out there. But, um, you know, it, it, I just want to point out, like, obviously you have to be careful, but don't be terrified to make the mistakes because I make the mistake here. I get it knocked away, but I'm going to try it again. You know, I'm, I'm not... I'm not going to see that, oh, that one time that I held on to it a little too long and had it knocked away and turned it over. It's going to happen. You know, you're going to you're gonna have turno or turnovers, especially if you're a forward. And trying desperately to avoid those mistakes is just, it's not going to be good for you in the long run. You're going to miss out on opportunities. And I think ultimately you're going to make more mistakes because you're trying to avoid the mistakes so much. Um, you know, because forcing those passes that aren't there are just as bad if not worse than what i did here all right so coming up here we have uh you know you make a basically i screw up here and you make a really nice play that not only bails me out but actually opens up an opportunity okay so so i he's coming over to cut me off i really have no choice but to try and turn away from him here and that's what i do but i end up hanging on to it too long and just kind of go into it again. this was kind of a tough spot but if if i was really quick about this i probably could have passed this to you because i mean that this guy's like really committed to coming at me this guy isn't isn't really close enough so i probably could have thrown the pat thrown the pass thrown thrown the pass over here um and you could have picked it up and skated into it or passed it over to laxi um but you know i hang on to it a little too long and they take it away but you pressure this guy, and you're like right. You're right on him. I mean, that's a fantastic forecheck play there. You knock it loose, and then you kind of just. I'm not really sure what happened here. How they you kind of pushed this guy out of the way, but I don't know why this guy fell out of the way. But um, you know. But yeah, so I screwed up, and you you made a really nice play. You didn't get a point on uh, on it, which is a crying shame, honestly. But uh, should have, but. You know, so you create all of this because of a great forward checking play. It was a bad turnover on my part. Great recovery by you. But then what I'm going to do here is obviously, you know, skating this in towards the net. It's a two on one. What I want to do is throw this across for the one timer. I know he's got one T. I know he's going to bury it. So obviously what I want to do is throw that across for the one timer. But I see, I mean, he's totally covered. This guy's all, this guy is right on top of him. Yeah, sure. Sometimes that, you know, like if you're playing zero ping guys, you see that happen all the time where they just force it through. They don't care. They'll shoot it through your stick. They'll shoot it through your body. It doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, I don't have zero ping. So and most of us don't. So you don't really want to try and force a pass. With, I mean, he's in perfect position to intercept this. There's no way I'm getting that pass over. So I'm like, OK, I've got, you know, that pass isn't happening. That pass is negated. He is out of the play. Right, I I know I recognize that I wanted to make this pass, but it's not there. I can't do it. So I've got to take what I'm given, and I'm given a lot. I'm given a lot of room here to skate this in. And you know he'll come over and try to take it away from me at the last minute, but it's too late. He he overcommitted to the pass a little bit. Maybe not. Yeah, not totally. But at this point now, it's kind of too late. I can't pass it. But I can't go far side either. But I fake like I'm going to, and then I go short side. And I end up scoring on it. I'm honestly not sure how, because the goalie never really bit. But, you know, I just wanted to point that out because, you know, you don't want to force it. You don't want to force it. You want to just, you want to take what you're given. Don't be afraid to shoot it and try to make the most out of the opportunity. Because I think, you know, nine out of ten players at least in that situation probably try to force that pass across. And you have... You know, you made a, a great play that ended up in a beautiful two-on-one opportunity, and it would have resulted in no shot. And instead, it ends up resulting in a goal. Like, you know, like I said, probably shouldn't have been a goal, but it was a goal. So, 
you know, and you can't score without shooting. And so it's important to shoot, even if you don't necessarily think you're going to score. Not really a bad idea to get it on net. Obviously, if you're not completely overdoing it like some people do, but, you know, I'm not concerned about that. You At this point, I am concerned that you need to hang on to the puck more. You need to be more confident, more adaptable, and be willing to shoot a little more. Okay, getting back to Ender a little bit. I feel like I've been using myself uh, as the example too much so far in this one. It's turned into the Marker Show. It's supposed to be the Ender Show. That's literally what it's called. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, so I make a just god. I don't even know what I'm doing. It's a god awful pass there. But um, yeah, so you kind of. What you did here is yellow held up in this area for the one T. I mean, they were all over it, so it was just an awful pass by me. But here, uh, you were kind of driving the net, and then you held up. So in this case, it wouldn't have mattered because I made a stupid ass play. <laughs> there's no, just, there's no other way to put it. It was a terrible pass. Um, I mean, just but but here's the thing. They're all look. There's four guys in this area. In that circle, there's four guys right there. Um, so they are just crowding the front of the net they're crowding the slot they're all over the between the hash marks high slot area um but where they aren't behind the net <laughs> um so once again it, it looks like on this it looks like you're breaking and you stop um maybe that's because i was obvious that i was turning it over once that pass happened it's like oh that's a turnover so maybe that's why um to be fair uh, but definitely in this situation, don't um, don't sit and f don't go for backdoor here. They've got that totally covered. Um, just you know, we need somebody to be behind the net in this situation. Like again, when you look at this, you got four guys right in front of the net, and then one guy moving out here a little bit. They're all in this area. All of them are right here. Their whole team is in this area. So. Where you need to be is down here. Pull these guys below the goal line. Because we're not, you know, we're, basically we're not getting anything done if, you know, they have four guys standing right in front of the net. We're not getting anything done. So we got to pull them behind the, bolt, the goal line. I think this is, you know, a, a good example of where, I mean, I screwed up, so I, I blew the whole play here, so unfortunately we won't really know what would have happened. But, um, you know, go, go below the net there. Pull them below the net. Don't set up in front of the net because we already have yellow in position to get a shot off. Like, backdoor is definitely a, a good and viable, like, place to be, but in this situation, front of the net's totally covered. You need to go behind the net and try to pull them away from the front and open things up a bit so we can get a shot off. But, obviously, I totally blew the possession anyway so it didn't matter here all right so here um i'm able to i you know turn it over i'm able to get it back you made a nice play because you know obviously you recognize that now i've stolen the puck here so now there's a lane right to the front of the net that's wide open there's like ton of room to shoot at here so i'm gonna throw it out to you and you're gonna hammer it in um so yeah you make a nice play to kind of recognize that and step into the open area get where you need to be here um you end up scoring but uh, I'm going to talk about your <laughs> aim on this one, because as you can see here, you end up shooting <laughs> shooting it directly at the goalie. Uh, I'm not sure if that was intentional, because he thought maybe he'd slide over and he'd go against the grain. Uh, I'm assuming it wasn't, but I'm going to you know, mention this now, because I think that I think you just got to work on your left stick aim. I think that you have a tendency to not put it where you think you're putting it, if that makes sense. Like, I've seen a lot of, uh, you make like, it's the sh there's shooting and there's passing where it just doesn't go where you wanted it to go. And the ping can definitely affect that because, you know, when you release the R2 button and you're aiming and you push your stick one way, but then you quick change and move the stick you know a different direction but then it took a split second for the pass to actually come off so now the pass goes the direction that your stick is facing now as opposed to when it was when you when you thought you were passing it so i assume that plays a factor you know that plays a role in it um but this is just something that really like 
just really focus on that and and pay attention to that because I've noticed that um not all the time like it's not like a thing that happens all the time but it does seem to be a nagging issue for you not being able to get passes and shots to go where you want them so i would really focus on trying to make sure that that stick is going where you think it's going because i i feel like there's a i feel like it's probably not you're probably mis aiming it more than you realize essentially is what i'm saying i am no doubt beating the dead horse here <laughs> i'm sure just in my recording these videos tonight i have probably said this i probably half a dozen times already uh, we're not even through this this is the second video i'm recording we're not even through this one <laughs> but don't force don't force the pass that you want to make obviously you're looking at this and you're like oh he's you know he's got one tee he's back door i'm gonna make that pass and he's gonna shoot it and there's empty net over there but yeah you know there's a little problem called this guy right here who is clearly gonna take that pass if you try to make it um but alternatively look at all this room you have here you've got all this room to skate in and shoot that um but you force the pass again you had so much room to try and take and you forced it again and by the, and by the time you passed it like he wasn't even i mean he had turned away from it because he's like uh, he's good he's got to try and move somewhere else because the guy's totally covered him and it, just don't don't force the pass maybe um if you really want to get the puck to him try a low shot you know try to put the shot even when you're back here and he's kind of ready for it, you know, you're back here and he's in here trying to shoot that low off the pad and put it into that area and then he can tap it in. But, you know, most likely that would have, the defender would have picked it up anyway, but that would have been better than just forcing the pass, right? I mean, he's right there. So, you know, kind of, again, beating the dead horse, but really you can't, you can't force those plays that you want to make. You have to see what you actually have and and take that because it, you're just throwing away the possession all right a, a lot of this game has gone by uh <laughs> but i i just i feel like uh i've had a lot less to say about this game funny enough uh than i did about the last one um probably just because you know we scored a lot so whatever we were doing was was working but um you know here is one where uh, there, there was a nice play earlier where you, you were given a lot of room on the short side to just kind of like, you know, play around with it and then get a shot off, and you did, and you didn't, you didn't force it, which was good. Um, I decided not to show that because it's like what I, you know, but I did want to, I did mention it. I want to mention it at least because you know it was good, and I, I want to see more of that where you're given space and you just take it and shoot it. Um, but I didn't need to focus and spend a lot of time on it. Just wanted to mention it. Uh, but here. I'm going to roll it back just a little bit because um, I've talked about the quickness, right? I've talked about the quickness. Um, it's it's so critically important to just do everything quickly. You know, you can't hang on to the puck too long. You, you know, you hang on to it that extra, you know, half second or, or whatever, just to hang on to it that extra fraction of a second. And I know the ping makes it harder, but it's still doable. And you need to... Yeah. the ping makes everything harder and and the game being bad makes everything harder right but you don't want to use all of that stuff as an excuse because it's always possible to do better so you want to look at what can i do and not say oh it's the lag or oh it's the game being bad because sometimes it is i mean sometimes it legitimately is and there's nothing you can do about it but you want to generally have the mindset of what can i do because then the problems will happen less because you'll be better at handling those situations and, and better at fighting through the adversity. And so it's very important to focus on the quickness of the game. I'm going to show you right here where this isn't the crux of what I'm talking about at the moment, but um, I stopped this for a completely different reason than what I'm going off on a tangent right here. Um, but you're going to see Laxey gets the puck. He's got two guys on him. I'm wide open, but these guys are all over him, and he hits me. 
Like, it's like that. It's just instant. He gets to the puck. He already knows where it needs to go, and bang, he hits me. And now you're, you know, driving in. You see this, um, you know, you will mark it just because why not? Got to play with the new toy, right? You see this uh, open lane here, and you're going to drive it. We're going to try and create a two-on-one, but these guys are back-checking here, so, you know, it's going to be tough um, for this to be a two-on-one because both of us are a little bit slower. We're playing a little bigger. Uh, maybe if we are both hyper fast, we can get a two on one out of this. But in, in any case, um, he makes that really nice quick pass and that makes all this possible. And that that fraction of a second that he was able to make that that play quickly is what allows this to happen. And that's what you have to do against better teams. And, and this was, you know, this, don't let the score fool you. This team was tough to play against, uh, as shown, obviously, by that first game that, you know, the game crashed. But. You know, so here, what I wanted to show is they're clogging the middle like crazy here, right? We, I mean, they know that there's only two of us. They got me, they got you, right? So don't let me go to the front of the net is objective A. Objective B is don't let me pass it to you. <laughs> they have three guys sitting here, right? So me passing it to you is going to be very difficult to do. And me driving it to the net is going to be very difficult to do. Now, I end up carrying the puck. I think I carry it around behind the net, whatever. It's not important at the moment. What I want you to do here is you you kind of just drive straight forward. And this doesn't really do anything here. Because at the end of the day, these three, these two guys are making it like impossible for me to pass it to you, right? I, that just that can't happen. This this is not a thing that can happen. A pass can't happen. Um, this guy here is making it very difficult for by if by some miracle I somehow got the puck to you in this situation. This guy pressuring you here would make it extremely difficult for you to really do anything. So the point I want to get across here is you drive this straight lane here, but the entire time you've got these guys on this guy, this this guy on this side, these guys on this side, you're sandwiched between them. So as this plays out, what I want you to do is you know drive, you can either take the outside or the inside of this guy. Um doesn't really, it probably doesn't really matter that much. Um, but either way, what I want you to do is drive to the back post here. Because what I, I didn't do it on this play, but what I could have done and what I will do a lot of the time, especially if I had seen you, like if I, I prob, I might have done this if I had seen you hard driving that back post, like just really beelining right for it. If I saw you do that, I probably just throw it at the net, right? Throw it low. Hope that the rebound kind of squeaks out into this area, and then, bang, you tap it right in. So drive the back post on that, because driving this lane here, it's not going to do anything. I mean, even if some, you know, again, there's no way you're going to get the puck here, and there's no way you're going to be able to hang on to it and shoot if you do somehow get it. But let's just, for argument's sake, say that you did get the puck here and that you could get a shot off. Well... You're on the same side of the ice as I am relative to the goalie. So the goalie can just sit here and he'll make the save. But if you drive the back post and let me shoot for a rebound, there's nothing the goalie can do. The goalie's not going to be able to save it. The only thing they can do is hope this guy picks picks up the rebound, which could happen. Don't get me wrong, that could happen. But the best play here, I think, for you is to drive that far post. And as we see this play out... You really kind of just beeline. I mean, you're. This is a thing that I see you do a lot, where you just don't. You don't get to the open ice. You. Kind of like just. And I see it a lot. It's particularly through the neutral zone, but you're obviously doing it here as well. You just skate into people, skate outside. Like like I said, I mean. Beeline that back post. And, and the guy over here did you a favor by they had you perfectly sandwiched. He did you a favor by swooping to the outside for no apparent reason. So now they have four guys on this side. So there's no way in hell the pass is going through. So 
the only thing that's left you know, is to either possess the puck or whatever. But even look, even if we're possessing the puck, it's still better for you to be over here than it is for you to be here. Because the defenders are here. You can't do anything here. In this position, you're useless. And they have way overcommitted these guys to you, but, I mean, they can kind of get away with that because they know we're the only two, you know, yellow is way behind the play here. We're the only two they have to worry about at the moment, so they can get away with that. But, you know, if they were, like, overcommitted, if they stayed overcommitted to you like that, that's one thing. But, you know, you're kind of hanging out in front of the net. So even with them overcommitting, this whole area of the ice is like, I can't go here because they're here to cover you. So, you know, think of it as, like, you go to the open ice to get yourself open, but also to pull the defenders away from where you want the puck to be, if that makes sense you want to open things up generally in the front of the net so go to the open space and go places that they have to cover you that they can't just let you sit there but that you're not right in front of the net because if you sit right in front of the net the whole game they're just going to sit there and they're going to eliminate you and they're going to eliminate the front of the net so we can't get there um so go to the open space you know like i said i didn't end up shooting low for the rebound but if you're here on the back post that's a really strong option especially with this guy way over committing to going over to this side for some reason um but even if you're over there you can move out into this area you know wherever over here and then i come around behind the net and i can you know hit you out in this area whatever just you know you got to get open you can't <laughs> skate directly into them okay so real quick um to drive home the point that i just made they're gonna end up scoring on kind of a similar looking play um but they have the puck here look they okay so there's a lot of coverage in the middle right you've got you're out here laxi's here um who, is that cider i think it's cider is here um yellow i can't remember who yellow was okay but look so there's a lot of coverage in the middle here but there isn't a lot of coverage on this side of the ice right so you know, they're not likely to get a pass through here, and Lojack sees that. So he's like, all right, well, I can pass to this guy. Nope, can't do that, because he's here. Well, I can pass to maybe this guy. Nope, can't do that, because he's here, and he's here. Can I, I can maybe pass to this guy. Nope, can't do that, because I'm here. And so, really, his only other option would be to try and go, you know, back out to the point for a one-timer. But, you know, from here, the shooting lane is heavily obstructed, so that's, you know, not a great idea. Um, but so he just, he keeps it simple. He sa says, you know, passing lanes are caught, are caught, but Hey, here's a guy in front of the net. He's got a little room to maybe get a, a, you know, to do something. And here's a guy who's wide open on the far side. So I don't have a passing lane to him, but he's got a ton of room over there. So, Hey, I'm just going to throw this at the net and suddenly bang. There's a rebound, another, you know, shot, save, another rebound, and they score. So, you know, just to really, really hammer home what I just said, it's, you know, you get the, it also, also what I'm saying, you know, been saying all along is get pucks to the net. Uh, when you don't have another good option, just get a puck to the net. Don't force something that's not there. But he does that here, and they end up scoring because they have two guys open on the, on the far side, open on the back post. They're not really tightly covered over there, but the passing lanes are covered. So you put it off the goalie, and then bang, it's in. All right, so um, just real quick, here is a kind of a um, counter example, I guess. Not not really a counter example, but uh, anyway, it, it, to show the other side of earlier where I said uh, Laxy made that that. Um, that really quick little pass to me where I was open. He didn't have time. He didn't have a lot of time to make the pass, but it was there, and he made it quickly, and that set up that play for you and me to drive towards the net. Um, this is what I'm talking about here on the opposite end. So I make a little play. I kind of was able to draw them into the middle. You made a nice cut to the outside. You switched with me. That was really nice because it, it opened up that side and allowed you to get into the zone. But here, they're converging, and right now, you got to make that pass. This is like the moment you have 
a very small window here to make that pass. And, you know, I know that, you know, you can say it's the ping and, you know, oh, it makes it hard. Well, I know the ping makes it harder. Obviously, it does make it harder. But that's why I harp on the importance of reading the game and being like, you know, trying to be two steps ahead at all time. Because you can see from the situation you're in here, um, obviously, this is the moment where I need you to make the pass. Because you see, this guy has totally committed to cutting you off right here. Like, he is now, I'm, I'm on you, I'm cutting you off. This guy is mid-poke. So he's mid-poke, which means that the pass is, like, gonna go through, basically. Because if he stood here and, like, kept skating, he could maybe intercept the pass. But because he goes for a poke on you, the pass is now, like, that's gonna go through. Um, so this pass right now is, like, wide open. You hit me, these guys are going the wrong direction... And now I have room to go up here, up the middle. Um, and I'm going to try and roll it back and find exactly the frame that I want for this. Where you can see... Like, okay, right here? Right here is the point where you've got to realize what's going to happen. So, again, the reading the game aspect is so important, especially when you're on higher ping you're going to have to recognize what's coming. You can see this guy stops and start and changes direction. This guy stops, changes direction, okay? They're both now moving towards you. And even if they weren't, even if you hadn't seen this, right? Even if you hadn't seen like okay, this stops, this guy stops and changes direction. This guy's now moving this direction towards you. They're trying to close you off, right? And I've actually I've talked about this area before here, right? Where they know that you're gonna have very limited options as you cross the line into this kind of trapezoid like area here. So they're gonna try and force you over here and cut you off. And it's it's what you do quickly when you enter this area that determines whether or not you can gain the zone. And sometimes they're going to be so close to this area to begin with that you're not going to have anywhere to go as soon as you cross the line. And so you're just, you would have to turn back. Like if you cross the line, you'll just lose it. And sometimes I do that where I recognize that's not going to happen. I turn back because I'm not going to get anywhere, but here you have time. And so you can see, okay, even if you don't see them change direction on you, you have to know that that's what's going to happen as it goes into the middle and now I stop and turn and it comes back. You have to know that they're going to that they're going to try and close you off in this area because it's going to be the easiest way for them to get that puck away from you. It's going to be very hard for you to counteract that, right? It's 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 just a good strategy to hold you off at the line here cuz you have to try and keep it in the zone. So it's a good move by them. But if you're quick about it, it's going to open up that opportunity where if you've seen that play already, you should already be loading up the pass now. Okay, so now, like, all right, here, bang, there's the pass. At, at this moment, you can still make that pass. Because I'm skating forward, you're here, this guy's overcommit. I think he's going for the hit now, which means he's not going to be able to intercept the puck. You throw that pass over here, and there it is, right? Oops, the line got smaller. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you throw the pass over there, and then bang. Um, so, again, really, really need to emphasize that is one of the most important things, I think, is playing with that level of quickness to be able to make a play that fast. Harder on, on higher ping, yes. Still possible. Um... So, you know, we can talk about the ping all day, and I know it makes it harder. I know it sucks. I, you know, I would hate to have to play on 85 ping or whatever all the time. But this is a play that can happen. And you, you just need to find a way to figure out how to, you know, read the game that you're two steps ahead and that you're already ready to make this play and that you see it happening because that's... It's available, and it, it would have been a really strong entry into the zone here off a play where it, just, it looked like they had us cornered and we weren't going to be able to get anywhere, but we could have gotten in and had some room to work with um, if you just made this play a little quicker. All right, we're, uh, we're nearing the end of the game here, but uh, just wanted to point out, you made it... Uh, 
interesting um, choice by Yellow to kind of vacate the point in this all this wide open space here and drive up into the middle right on top of you. Uh, interesting decision there. I'm not. I mean, I'm not sure. I guess he was trying to like go back door for the one timer because he has the right handedness for it. Um, but he stays there probably too long. He probably should have backed out at this point. He probably should have been the one to back out here into this area so that he can one time it. Um, but you recognized like, hey, there's five guys now in front of the net and he's here. You know, he's here. He's here. Nobody's in this whole area. I'm going to go there. And so then you go there, and then I'm able to hit you for a pass. And now we're able to kind of work things around. I don't think we end up scoring here. No, we don't end up scoring there. Um, but, you know, we were able to make something happen where I didn't really have a whole lot of options. It could have gone back to Teal, I think. I don't think he was covered there. Um, but there was just a lot of room to work with. And, uh, yeah, so it's just a good job by you to recognize that and, and fill in that, that open space. and. I know you're kind of covering for yellow, but I mean, it's just another example of like, hey, there's the open area. Go there. You know, give me um, give me another option. Right. Give me another option to help support and go back out to the point. Pull them away from the net. All right. So uh, game's over. Score went from five two to eight two real quick. I think we scored three goals in the last minute. Um, but yeah, there wasn't wasn't a whole lot I wanted to say there at the end. Um, you know, obviously a good game. We scored 8-2, but I definitely think there were still some things to take away from this one. And I ended up actually talking. It felt for a while because I went a long stretch of that game without really say, have it feeling that there was much to say. Uh, but eventually kind of was like, all right, now I'm, now there's like a lot that I want to talk about. And I, 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 kinda, I feel like maybe I rambled a little bit in this one on, on some of those stoppages, but... I really wanted to hammer home like the importance of some of the things I was talking about and, and the whys and the, um, you know, the kind of the repercussions of like some of the, some of the mistakes and how doing this little thing a little bit different next time makes a big difference. And I really just wanted to elaborate on, on, you know, why I think, this is, you know, this is bad and this is good. And anyway, ho hope that makes sense and uh, hope this one helped as usual. And uh, yeah, so thank you everybody so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.